Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel for ACCA FR exam prep. My name is Adam. In this video, I'll be taking you through how to account for financial assets carried or measured at amortized costs. So let's look at the example. Again, you look at the requirement, show how the profit and loss impact and the current amount of the bond will be calculated at the year end 31st December 20x1. So two things to look out for the profit or loss impact, the current amount of this bond. So let's see. A company purchases a deep discount. So once you see purchases, it's not a liability. It's an asset. They have acquired an asset, financial asset, purchased not issued now they purchase a deep discount bond with a power value power value is the face value on first january 20x1 so you reconcile that to the year end and that is 12 months because if it is not 12 months you have to time apportion the interest for proceeds of 140 so they paid 140 instead of 500 and that gives you the discount annual coupon payment of five percent are payable on 31st december each year so it means the entity will receive cash so cash or let me say cash interest cash interest to be received with five percent the entity incurred transaction cost of five eight six seven the bond will be redeemed on the first december 20x3 at par so x1 x2 x3 so three years the effective interest rate on the bond is calculated at 9.3 so let's see again let me take you through the process so at first january 20 x1 we say it's initial measurement initial measurement the principle as per ifrs 9 financial instrument measurement is that we have to measure at fair value now, the fair value here will be the uh, amount paid, amount paid, which is 440 plus transaction cost. So, plus transaction cost. And the transaction cost is 5867. Now remember it was already discounted so if the discount was given and it was not deducted then we have to discount the, we have to deduct the discount from the coupon or the face value but it, it was already deducted so let's see this will give us four four five eight six seven as the initial value then we go to 31st december 20x1 so we use the amortized cost shadow so the amortized the amortized cost shadow should give us the measurement at the year end so here we look at the year end which is december 20x1 then we look at the opening balance of the instrument that opening balance is the fair value four four five eight six seven then we look at the finance cost or the effective interest and that will be nine point three percent then we look at the cash interest which will be the interest received the interest received and that will be at the coupon of five percent which we were given here then we have the closing 
balance. So let's see. Now the four 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 five eight six seven times nine point three percent. So zero point zero nine three. That should give us forty one four six five point six. So four six six. And the interest received should be based on the nominal value, which is 500. So 500,000 times the coupon rate of 5%. So 500,000 times 0 0.05. That should give us 25,000. And this is a deduction on the shadow. So 445-867 plus 41-466 minus 25 should give us four six two three 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 now the requirement is what's the PL impact was the current amount so let's do with these two parts of the requirement so in the PL for the year the entity will show an investment income and the investment income will be 41466 which is the amount of the investment that effective interest the amount of the effective interest so that is how much will be shown in the PL. now in a statement of financial position under non current assets you will see financial assets the entity will have financial assets and they can qualify to say uh, it's a loan note and the value will be four six two three 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 and that is the closing amount so this is a presentation in PL we take the effective interest as income Remember, it's an asset, so it is not an expense. It's not finance cost. It's not an expense. It is income because it is an asset. And in the statement of financial position, you show an asset, but at the closing balance, which is the carrying amount. I hope this helps you in your preparation for the FR exam. Please subscribe to this channel to receive updates on new videos.